finding the volume of a cone. If a cone and a cylinder have the same height and the same radius, how many cones will it take to equal the volume of the cylinder? That would be three. So I could fit three cones into a cylinder with the same height and the same radius. Remember that multiplying by one third is the same as dividing by three. Here's the formula for a cone. One third pi r squared times height. So let's look at our first example. Volume equals one third times pi, our radius is three, and our height is six. So we just want to simply multiply each of these. I like to start with doing three squared, our exponent first, which gives me nine. And then I just plug all of this into my calculator. So one third times pi times nine times six would give me a volume of 56 and 52 hundredths inches cubed since it's volume. Look at the next one. A cone shaped paper cup is filled with water. The volume is of the cone is 1,899.7 centimeters cubed and the radius is 11 centimeters. What is the height? So our formula again is one third pi r squared times height. But this time we're looking for the height. So if the volume is 1,899.7 we plug everything in that we know, but we're missing h. This is an equation, so I need to simplify as much as I can over here. I start with my exponent, and 11 squared is 121. Then I'm going to multiply 1 third times pi times 121, which is going to give me 126.65 times h with our volume on the left hand side. Then to get h by itself I do the opposite of multiplication which is division. So when I divide I get 14.9996 which would just round to our height being 15 inches or centimeters and it's not centimeters cubed because it's just the height. As a review, your formula is one third pi r squared times height. Just plugging in your normal numbers where they need to go into your formula and solving for whatever is missing.